guys so we're doing the second house on this lot in del sol valley the idea behind it was two best friends or whoever we end up building um decided to invest in a plot of land and build their own little pseudo tiny houses their own little sort of i guess park model spaces um so that they could focus on being in whatever career they wanted to be in here in the valley and have their own little space but they didn't have to invest in some of the giant houses that exist in del sol valley um it's very interesting this is a very cool world but their starter world uh, their starter lots are all very very big um and so it's kind of hard to have like true truly the the just getting started um setup that sort of vibe and so what i decided to do here is two floor plans that i actually saw in a tiny house community showcase i was explaining in the last video that my cousin is a carpenter and a very talented one and he gets to do all kinds of cool things like this and a lot of times he sends me pictures or once in a great while i get to go see um and these were two i got to actually go walk through sort of reinterpreted in the sims there's obviously some differences because this would have been a loft space not a full upper story um but we can't do sort of half tile or half height loft spaces um which ended up working out good because i made this a youtuber's home um so the upper story is their office their setup um and i made a little wall space that would have been like a set for them to do um and then the other houses i think maybe angled a little bit more towards screenwriting or writing in general um both of them are based off of real life floor plans though um both of which i think about a lot i saw these houses i think it was almost two years ago now but i love these floor plans i end up recreating them a lot in the sims um because they're very functional and they're kind of especially the park model which is the first one we built is very unique this one's a little bit more like a tiny house you would see um on hgtv or is diy still a thing i was gonna say diy but honestly i don't know if that channel's still a thing here you can see i'll fight with it for a while and i left it in to show um i did fight with trying to make a loft space like trying to use the the roof itself that is so hard in the sims because the walls don't react the right way <laughs> so i ended up just doing a second space and trying to make it a little bit funkier with the way i did um the covering for the porch and this sim in this house you can see didn't prioritize outdoor space as much when they picked their floor plan um the pork model has a huge porch which i was mentioning last time i'm absolutely positively in love with um but this one uh, he prioritized an office or she prioritized an office i haven't created the sims yet i haven't I haven't gotten a complete vibe off them yet. This was one where I had to build the house first, which I think is good because I currently have a project shelved where I built the um, the Sims first and I love the Sims and I wanted to share them with you and I'm like, I can't get the house to work at all now. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. I hate when you have such a good idea and you just can't translate it, but oh well. It is what it is what it is. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of interesting. This one's, I think, probably, yeah, no, it has to be. This one's bigger than the park model behind us. I keep calling it the park model because that's what they called it in the showcase. I can't remember the name of this one. Um, but this one feels, I think, more open and airy and doesn't feel as much like a tiny house. Um, which it's not a tiny house. They're huge, but they're kind of based on real life tiny house floor plans. Um, the other one definitely feels a little bit more like they prioritized being outside. They didn't really need a lot of space inside. Um... And uh, this one, they needed an office, they needed more space. You'll see a couple pauses in here, unfortunately, and I do apologize for that in advance, and also not in advance since that one just happened. Um, we, I've mentioned this before on the channel, we lost one of my pack members not too terribly long ago, and one of my remaining pack mates, he very, he's having a little bit of a hard time, so he sits on my lap a lot. So anytime you see a break or something, he just needed a little more attention than I was giving him at that moment. So just know I'm cuddling a very cute, small dog in these moments. Um, also, please excuse the sort of gross sound of my voice right now. We are in the path of some smoke from wildfire. Luckily, there are no wildfires burning near us, but being rural, that is a possibility. Um, and there are fires burning close enough to cause um, some pretty heavy smoke layer around here. And uh, so I sound like this because I have to be outside. So please excuse me if it's it's really terrible. You know, um, there's some really good playlists. You can always put me on mute. <laughs> but uh, listen to some, some good music. Uh, maybe, hmm, I'm just trying to think of what a good playlist would be. You need something beachy. You need something like Beach Boys or um, was it The Safaris did Wipeout? You could play Wipeout over this. I can't because copyright. <laughs> but you could play Wipeout over this video. I love ooh, rapid subject change. I love 
the um, siding behind the kitchen. That was an accident. That was a complete accident and I love it so, so much. I now want to do a room build where I just build an extravagant kitchen, but with that as the backboard, I love it so, so much. It was literally an accident because it's what's on the other house. Um, and I've had some issues with my game just making decisions unilaterally on its own accord and then that was one of them. Um, I think actually I tried to, uh, it's part of a room or something. It, the, the room system got a little goofed at one point, but it turned out super cute, so I left it. Also, this bathroom is almost a carbon copy of the other one. You saw me grab it in the beginning. Um, I'm lazy, and I don't super enjoy building bathrooms, especially tiny bathrooms like that. The camera was killing me in the last video, so um, I opted to just kind of copy and paste and then change some of the, the colors and things, because bathrooms aren't super important to gameplay other than if you don't have them, you're very aware of it. And there's no laundry in these houses, um, because I thought too, like, you can always take the lot, like, download it, place it, snatch up one of the houses, and then, um, like, delete the other one if you didn't want both houses or something like that. So there's no laundry, the laundry space is outside, um, because I didn't want to include laundry if you didn't want it, um, anywhere in the house. I didn't want to, like, to have a hamper, and then you'd have to put a laundry station in, because, um, in the third video, it's this sort of, like, mini run here. There is an outdoor space designed, and part of it is you, it's supposed to look like a, a pre-placed, like, pre-built modular shed. Just gets placed down, and that's where, like, their laundry and their storage is. Um, and then a really comfy, cozy outdoor space. Funny story, I told this in the last video, but if you're watching these independently, I thought I should share. The sim that lived on this lot, that I so, um, callously just knocked down their home, uh, she gets to stay. I think she's gonna get this house. I was, um, at one point I had paid attention to her traits and everything, and I think maybe this house would be, she wants to be an actress if I recall, so something like YouTube would be a good choice. Um, she can pick either house though. We'll redesign her when we add her roommate. Point being, she, uh, she was used for testing and she lit every kitchen on this lot on fire. Um, she lit the kitchen in this house on fire, she lit the kitchen in the other house on fire, and I put a girl out in the, uh, in the community area, like the little courtyard space, and I thought, oh, she'll be fine, I need to take pictures, I'll just leave it running, and she decided to grill, and I think I leave it in this video, I'll have to look, I can't remember now, I think the last picture is, like, the firefighters putting out the grill and the lights. <laughs> Oh, not this video, my goodness, the, the outdoor video. Point being, she's lit everything on fire. So if you download this lot, I think I got it all cleaned up, but if you download this lot and there's a weird burn patch that I missed, sometimes it's hard controlling the sims. So, also, if you hear weird buzzing on the mic, I do apologize. There was a fly. It is the downside of summertime in the high desert. Sometimes it gets a little fly, especially with farm animals. And this particular fly uh, really wants to live either on my face or on the mic, both of which are equally annoying. So I do apologize in advance if there's a weird buzz. This little space I spent so long on, and I like it so, so much. But the idea behind it, because it's kind of weird in the office, like, and then there's this little weird cozy space. The idea behind it was you would film here. So like, I don't know what kind of YouTube videos she's going to make or they're going to make, whoever it is. Um, but a lot of YouTubers have like their studio set up for their intros or like, I don't know, maybe she's a beauty blogger. I don't really watch that a lot. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm, but the point is I'm speaking out of my tail end a little bit on that one. But like a lot of uh, gaming YouTubers I watch, they start with face cam um, on and then they pull up their green screen and get started. So this would be like maybe where you would start your video was the point. That was a long-winded way of saying this is a set. <laughs> but I really like how it turned out. Um, and I think it's another one of those spaces where I was like, mm, I wish I could elaborate and do a whole build on this. So you might see a, a build that's sort of themed like this. I've gotten into a weird stage where I like dark colors on the walls. And a lot of people think it's very weird. And I agree because I'm a very light colored person. Like my walls currently are sort of a minty green. I have white everywhere. I like bright colors, but in The Sims where it costs me nothing to investigate, I've been loving putting dark colors on the wall. And I've had to like physically remind myself like, hey, not everyone is going to like this, first of all. And not every room needs to be a dark gem color, <laughs> you know? Um, but I think it works really well in here. And I think it would help prevent like, um, flashback and stuff when you're recording, which is things the sims don't have to think about, and I don't actually have to think about because I don't do face cam, <laughs> but things to think about. So, lots of windows in this house. Um, I did some curtains. 
I did not, I don't think, looking back, I don't think I did curtains on the other house, because curtains are frustrating. <laughs> but I did manage to get curtains on some of the windows in this house. Curtains annoy me to no end. They are the bane of my existence. I, I just... I don't enjoy curtains in The Sims. I like the way curtains look, but I don't enjoy putting them up. Um, usually they are like, well, whatever works, that's what you're getting, even if they don't completely match. I also believe I put some skill building up here. I can't remember exactly. There is a, an actual desk too, and um, the YouTuber's desk, because I don't think, I've not played a lot with the YouTuber career, um, but I don't think you can do normal stuff on a YouTuber computer. Um, I'll have to investigate that, but I do have both just in case. So this is not a super pet friendly build because of the ladder. The other house would be fine. You could put pet stuff in. I didn't in this particular build, but this house that we're building now does have a ladder. So your dog or cat would not be able to come up here or toddler actually. Well, you wouldn't be raising a toddler in a one bedroom, one bathroom, pseudo tiny house. Um, but this is a super pet friendly house, despite the fact that there's some cute dogs on the calendar and stuff like that. Um, unless you just didn't want your dog in your, um, office, but did other things. I guess, you, you know, he can come sleep on the bed and stuff, so it doesn't matter too much. Yep, I do have a keyboard in here. I thought I put some skill building in here. As well as, I mean, YouTube is a skill. Also, the camera, I was talking about this in the other build. Unfortunately, I'm having some struggles with my game. It wants to lag like crazy. It wants to just jump the camera around like crazy. I'm clipping through walls. I'm clipping into basements that I don't have, things like that. And the lighting engine keeps wanting to just randomly get out on me. And that's all been since the last patch. And I don't know if that's just me, if I need to do a reinstall or what's up. But um, please excuse, that is happening quite a bit uh, in the upcoming videos. Because I don't really know how to solve it. <laughs> so, especially the lighting. I feel like I'm putting so much lighting in. Like, this house has can lighting and accent lighting and just, like, an absolute ton of stuff. And it feels excessive for the amount of house it is. But... I can't get the lighting to do what I want it to do, which is very weird. So, and I like this little cozy bedroom. I like the pink. It, the, I don't know if I would choose the pink necessarily in in real life, like if I had to live with it. But again, that's one of the fun things about Sims. You can be like, mm, is this going to work? Okay, great. Some might say it's a little dated, but I really, really like it. So I've been watching, uh, I just watched the first two episodes of the new design store on Discovery Plus because my brother very sweetly gave me his password to Discovery Plus. <laughs> and now, um, like, I keep hearing, like, the judges in my head, like, this is really dated. This is really ridiculous. And I disagree with most of it. <laughs> like, I disagreed with the, the second episode, Who Went Home. Um, and I have my favorite. I don't know if any of you are watching, but Chris is my favorite. And I want him to win everything. I'm only two episodes in. He may prove to be a jerk, so don't hold me to that. But I like him and I want him to win as of right now. Um, and I think the judges are kind of being cruel just to be cruel. So there you go. <laughs> I haven't watched Design Star in so long, though. I don't even know if I've watched all the seasons. I might have to go back and, and watch some other seasons. I watched, I think, season one all the way through and whatever. I watched the David Bromstad season and I watched the Kim Miles season. That might be it. I don't know. I, I love those design shows, though. Um, I'm so ridiculously cocky about it for never having, like, done anything like that. I'm like, oh, I would do this and this, and then I would do this. And no, I wouldn't. I have no idea how to build a room in three days, but it's so fun to watch. And I feel like it's very, um, you're probably going to see a lot of builds, like, inspired by that suit, because it's very fun. Um, it's very fun to watch and see how other people's brains work. There's a lot of social media in this se season, um, like, a lot of social media, um, focus which shouldn't shock me as much as it does considering my career is in tech but, <laughs> but it's still so jarring to me when people are like yeah social media as business I just that still breaks my brain a little bit says the girl posting videos on YouTube but honestly it does it's so funny um because they've done like you have to make um was it an Instagram Reels? And then you had to make a TikTok on the second episode. Which I am not on TikTok. TikTok scares me. I am too old for TikTok. <laughs> um, but I'm on Instagram. Um, which is linked in the description if you're interested. I don't do a lot on Instagram though. I'm not very good at it. In fact, I did just make a template today to try to make my Instagram uh, thingy. What do you call it? Like the main, what they call it feed posts or whatever. Um, try to make that suck less. So I'm excited about that. 
but yeah social media is kind of an interesting thing that all of a sudden is like you need to have a degree in it to do anything with it it's very confusing <laughs> it's very confusing says the computer scientist who should probably have some sort of grasp on social media i don't know i don't know i didn't grow up with it it was not a thing in my family my parents were not interested in letting their kids have social media which is fair i totally get that um as someone who is like sort of pseudo on social media now it's like a lot i don't have facebook people keep trying to get me well i have a facebook but it makes me mad because the only people who contact me on facebook are people who like i've intentionally not wanted to talk to <laughs> i don't like facebook anyways this got off topic very quickly um, this hallway feels like wasted space a little bit, and it kind of frustrated me in the end, but I don't know how, without making the bathroom maybe, like, an ensuite. I guess you could swivel it, but then you'd lose the upstairs. I'm trying to figure out how you would cut out that hallway. And in the original, like, in the real-life build, it was a smaller hallway. It didn't, it didn't matter that much, and the windows let in a lot of natural light, light. But with The Sims, I wish I'd do it too wide because, um, it concerns me about them getting stuck. So here's the house. I'll go ahead and leave you here with the screenshots. I really like how this one turned out. I think it turned out cool. It's a different interpretation of a similar style as the last one. And then pretty soon we'll be doing their outside space and it'll be great. But I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And I hope you're safe from the wildfires and all the craziness that's going on in the world. And I'll talk to you next time.